This is the Daily 49er News Update. I'm Jenna, and here are today's top stories. Furloughs are gone for this school year. At last week's convocation ceremony, President Alexander formally announced that furloughs would not return for the 2010 to 2011 academic year. CSULB Provost Donald Para reiterated this fact during his speech to the faculty and staff. Furloughs saved the campus $20 million. Good strategy for last year. Furloughs are gone. We hope never to have to deal with the F word again. (laughs) Furlough days are basically campus closures where instructors are given the day off with no pay. According to Para, the campus was able to drop furlough days due to early strategic planning. The university has struggled with decreased funding from the state, which is down $52 million, according to President King Alexander. Para and Alexander also reflected on the campus's accomplishments, but warned that such a high quality of education could not be sustained without a restoration of state funding. Reward the universities that have done the best job at controlling their expenditures. Reward the universities that have done the best job in remaining affordable to its students. Of those 103 large universities, this university ranks third in affordability. It ranks fourth in efficiency, and it ranks fifth in its, in its access of low-income students. Like, our university ranks among the most efficient, affordable, and we serve the greatest public good. I firmly believe that we are the kind of public university that the public really wants. However, the public just doesn't know it yet, and we need to make sure they do. Public parking in nearby neighborhoods is now restricted to students. The first week of school brings a lot of headaches, one major one being parking. And now, CSULB will post no parking signs in front of areas where there are preferential parking districts. These districts allow anyone without a parking permit to park for only one to three hours. The university is making these streets off-limits to students to show good faith to its neighbors. Streets with preferential parking districts include Atherton, Marita, and Palo Verde Avenue. Otherwise, save yourself the hassle and purchase a parking permit online through your MyCSULB account. This has been your Daily 49er News update for August 30th. I'm Jenna, and for more information on any of the stories you've heard today, visit our website at daily49er.com.